Today, I want to talk about the theory that Carmilla isn't just the mother of these two demons we see in her office, but also the mother of Vaggy as well. And to make it extra spicy, we'll be combining it with the theory that Vaggy herself was an angel. Because if any of this is true, it almost makes more sense if these two crazy theories overlap. My name is Imka, and if you like Hasbin Hotel, you probably like Five Nights at Freddy's for some reason. So go check out my weird review I did for the movie without knowing anything about the games. Trust me, you'll like it even if you haven't seen the movie. Now, why are people drawing a connection between Vaggy and Carmilla at all? For me, it started with one viewer pointing out that Vaggy and Carmilla, as Spanish-speaking characters, seem to have similar enough color designs. Vaggy went through a lot of redesigns over the years, but she definitely seems to have found her latest color designs when Hasbin Hotel was in development, which, while not exactly like Carmilla's, is similar with its whiter tones and could have been a change made at the last minute when it was decided that they would be family. From there, hundreds of comments have popped up saying that they now think that Vaggy and Carmilla are directly related, but it goes well beyond just their color schemes and their shared Spanish language. In my previous video, I theorized that Carmilla is responsible for her daughters not just ending up in hell, but perhaps even dying at a seemingly young age. While they are adults as far as we can see, they act more childlike and are very dependent on their mother. Not infants, but like young women who never had to live without their mother. If they had made it to an old age like Carmilla, they likely would have had their own children and have manifested in hell looking more similar to their mother, older in age. But their more youthful appearance seems to say to me that they died young compared to Carmilla, who likely died relatively young herself. A character's life in hell generally reflects their life on Earth, and Carmilla was likely part of a weapons manufacturing and trade while alive, with many fans believing she is representative of some of the famous cartel women in history. Like in Hell, she could have provided weapons to people that she thought would ultimately lead to more safety for her and her family, despite getting directly involved with some of the most violent and dirty dealings. I believe that, like in Hell, Carmilla didn't want to take any lives herself, but by producing the weapons that the cartels would use, she would take on a karmic debt for every life they'd take. Hell is already very easy to get sent to in the Hell of her, so this would make her an easy sinner after she died. But unfortunately, she would likely have taken her two daughters down with her, having them both work for her for the cartel the same way she works for them in Hell. Because of the violence the cartel faces, they likely would have died in a conflict together, explaining why they appear so young, relatively speaking. Hell isn't exactly filled with old people, and people seem to manifest as a bit of a younger version of themselves all in all, but Carmilla's daughters manifested young in relation to their mother in particular, having never grown beyond the dynamic of mother and daughter, it seems. Now, where does Vaggy fit in here, then? Well, I could absolutely be wrong here, but I remember there being claims from live streams early in the show's production that Vaggy was involved with either gangs or cartels specifically, this being an explanation for her expertise with a lot of different weapons. This is something I can't find a source for anymore, and even if there was a source, it would be a live stream so old it's depicted entirely with hieroglyphs found inside the tombs within ancient Egyptian pyramids, so may not be remotely canon to what they have planned for Vaggy in the actual show, so many years later. If that was part of Vaggy's backstory, however, it would make sense that Vaggy and Carmilla have some sort of connection in the show, something fans really started to notice when re-watching Carmilla's song, which just so happens to cut away to Vaggy singing, with Carmilla and Vaggy singing together. Within the episode's narrative, this is meant to highlight how both are taking on a big burden and responsibility to help the people they love, but the more you watch it, the more you want to believe that they are singing about something a bit more deep here, something more connected to each other. Right now, Carmilla's plotline seems almost unrelated to the characters of Hasbin Hotel's main story, being a sort of second show within the show that is just tangentially attached to the main plot through Alistair's excursion to Carmilla's office. By having Vaggy and Carmilla be related, it would have tied the two plots together, but why is Vaggy so distant from Carmilla then? Well, if Carmilla had died with her two daughters, it doesn't mean that she had to have died with all of her daughters, and Vaggy may not have been involved with the theoretical conflict that led to the death of Carmilla and her two daughters, who assist her in hell. Vaggy is known for her use of bladed weapons, not for designing or crafting weapons. Whether she was aligned with her mother or not, she would have found more success being something of a foot soldier in whatever dealings the cartel had her doing. This could have led to her dying at a radically different time, and perhaps having a much harder time finding her family. However, a lot of fans also think that Vaggy is an angel. 
Carmilla Carmine seems desperate to not be separated from her daughters, indicating she may have had to leave someone in her family behind, quite possibly another daughter like Baggy. Even if she and her daughters had died at different times, families in Hell do seem to be able to find each other, and in the digital age, I imagine there is some sort of aspect to Hell social media networks like Voxtagram that help you find family members and probably even friends from your time on Earth. The fact that Vaggy is so distant from them may imply that she didn't just work a different job in life, but perhaps absolutely despised the line of work they were in, and chose to leave because of it. If Vaggy was in a gang, she may have had to join for her own sake in the end, but with me not being able to find the original source on that and the claim being rather old, the current story may have had her as knowing about weapons, perhaps even because of her mother, but also choosing not to kill with them despite her expertise with them, leading to her getting into heaven. To help highlight how this is possible, we also know from early live streams that Angel Dust has a sister named Molly, who is in heaven alongside Angel's mother, with Angel, his brother, and father all in hell for their crimes as a mob family. This shows that even those directly related and probably even benefiting from a sinner on earth can still get into heaven if they maintain some sort of moral uprightness that their parents don't have, and that may apply to Vaggy if she tried to run away from her mother's cartel work. She may also have simply been chosen to go to heaven not because of her morality, but but because of her actual use as a soldier. But from what I understand, the exorcists that do the annual extermination are descendants of Adam, female descendants specifically, and with heaven seeming corrupt, I wouldn't be surprised if some women who were particularly good at fighting and killing were allowed into heaven specifically to be an exorcist. Regardless of how she would have made it into heaven, this theory suggests that Vaggy was not just an angel, but an exorcist, hence why she has an exorcist weapon in the show, one that looks like an original exorcist blade and not some crafted weapon like the various guns and such from Carmilla Carmine. Vaggy would have thus died not long after Camilla and her siblings did on Earth, and when Vaggy died, she would go up to heaven and probably participate in the annual extermination for quite some time, years or maybe even decades. Early drafts of Vaggy had her dying in the 1980s, with later claims being that it was only in the 2010s that she died, though there may be a distinction between when she died and when she moved to hell if she was an angel, so all of this information is essentially useless. Now, according to earlier Patreon Q&A information, if a soul or even an angel like Lucifer moves from heaven to hell, they go from an angelic form to a demonic form. But this is based on if they are living there, not if they are just visiting, thus exorcists don't change their form when they come down from heaven for the annual extermination. Others, however, have suggested that Vaggy was an exorcist that attacked Carmilla's children and that Carmilla beheaded her, and that she somehow re-manifested in hell as a sinner this time, leaving her angelic body behind. While we have theorized that angelic weapons can kill angels the way they can kill sinners, both just being souls that change forms based on where they exist, it's possible this angel isn't dead in the permanent sense. While they have not regenerated the way we expect an angel to, growing their body back, that doesn't mean they didn't re-manifest. And if an angel's body is destroyed to the point where it needs to re-manifest while in hell, it may be perhaps possible that the soul would think it needs to re-manifest not as an angel, but as a sinner, leading to Vaggy getting her sinner form. Some fans want to point to Vaggy having an X over her eye as evidence that she is the exorcist, who had an X over the same eye. However, we have been told for some time now that the exorcists are wearing LED masks that make their faces look this way, with the X's appearing to be part of the aesthetic. Most in the pilot and the trailer seem to have an X over their right eye, but the dead exorcist has an X over their left eye, just like Vaggy. With the only other exorcist like this I can find being from the trailer, which could be from the next extermination, but which also could be a flashback to how this particular exorcist died. If we combine the two theories, fans who speculated that Carmilla isn't giving the full story of what happened may consider that Carmilla purposely killed Vaggy in her angel form in order to free Vaggy from having to live in heaven and to live in hell as a sinner with Charlie, who she had fallen in love with. However, this theory, and really the theory that Carmilla is Vaggy's mother at all, does have some issues. We don't know when Carmilla first manifested in Hell, however, it is implied that it was before the three Vs, who represent the New Era, and who Camilla seems as not being wise the way other older overlords like Zestiel are. Vaggy is said at the earliest to have died in the 80s, and at the latest in the 2010s, although those are all dates from earlier phases of production and may not be remotely relevant as said before. With Vaggy being said to have died in a later period like the 80s, and Carmilla seeming to be from a much earlier period, probably around Alistair's time or before, it would seem that they are not actually related, at least in the mother-daughter sense. We also had the has -been Hotel prequel comics that featured Vaggy with Charlie when she met Angel, which I believe would be before the annual extermination 
combination. Though again, these are outdated and don't reflect what is canon, and aren't even available from any of the official sources anymore. Finally, at one point, Carmilla's two known daughters actually show up at the hotel and don't seem to have any weird interaction with Vaggy, whether positive or negative, indicating they don't know each other outside of Vaggy being aware of them because of the Carmine business brand. But what do you guys think? Let me know your thoughts in the comments down below, and if you haven't seen it, go check out that Five Nights at Freddy's movie review. Even if you haven't seen it, it's really more a deconstruction of fandoms and how they relate to a product like Freddy's, and I think you'll like it. See you guys there.